answered. I could probably use your help. Probably. Fine. I could really use your help. Can we meet? Deep breaths, Pan Am. Tell me what's going on. Do you remember Sol? The leader of the clan I left? Yeah, yeah. I had a fallen out or something. Doesn't matter right now. He... They nabbed him. This is just not suitable for a call beat. Just tell me when and where. You don't know how good it is to hear that. Swing by the Aldecaldos camp. I'll explain it all. The Aldecaldos? Thought you parted ways. Oh, look, it's a long story. Just hurry over. I'm here. Are you V? Please, step in the vehicle. Okay. Hello, V. I'm Jefferson Perales. You've already spoken with Elizabeth, my wife. Nice to meet you, Mr. Perales. Mrs. Perales. Hmm, right again, Liz. You see, my wife is a great judge of character. Said this would work. Now I see why. So, what do you got for me? Carter, let's go. Elizabeth? Well, as you're probably aware, Mayor Lucius Ryan recently passed. We want to know how, why, whatever else is pertinent. It was all over the news. Of course it was. Media feasted for weeks. Pieces like that are their lifeblood. Right. Think they missed something? We have reason to believe they did, yes. As far as I know, case is closed already. It is. Of course, the police wrote it off as natural causes. Ryan passed at home due to a cardio implant malfunction. But we're left wondering about the cyber psycho attack at City Hall a few days earlier. The police say it was completely unrelated. These suspicions of yours. Wouldn't have anything to do with the upcoming election, would they? Of course they would. If Lucius Ryan was murdered, we want to know. Need to know. Makes you think the cops got it wrong. Got any evidence? Shortly before Ryan passed, he made cuts in the NCPD budget. Perhaps got on someone's bad side that way. In any case, we have the cyber psycho attack on a BD. Our chief of security scanned it, but didn't find anything out of the ordinary, so to speak. We need a brain dance editor, a real one. It's raw footage. The brain dance. It has to be back where it belongs today, or a lot of people will be in a lot of trouble. If you agree to help, you can see it right now. Where'd you get the scroll? Ryan was making a public appearance. BD scrolling standard procedure for events like that. Following the attack, the NCPD impounded the footage as evidence. We had to pull many strings to extract it. All right. See what I can do. Excellent. We'd be happy with any find that would clarify things. Alleviate lingering doubts. Well, what do we got here? Question is, what are you doing here? My brain too, isn't it? And this time, don't go scrolling every ass you see. Eyes on the mayor. Stuff belongs to City Hall. Let's make it PG. Hold it! Stop right there! Slow your roll! River Ward, NCPD. 
police. Let him in? Let him wait. It's important. Gotta speak to the mayor's chief of security. Prem, do it after the conference. Who's the Hulk guy? No idea. Those ass clowns are all the same. left literally seconds before the attack. That looks planned. Like it was done on purpose. That or the psycho saw his chance and took it. Don't get paranoid on me. Hold it! Stop right there! Slow your roll! River Ward, NCPD. Police. Let him in. Let him wait. It's important. Gotta speak to the mayor's chief of security. Prem, do it after the conference. The terminal crashed right as he went through the gate. Yeah, glitch was no accident. Nah, seen stranger coincidences. Like? Like when you bang some chick and then her sister later, same night. And it turns out they're both sisters of God. That really happened to you? No, nah, but it could have. <gasps> could have chromed half the city with what he was packing. Probably what happened. Body disappeared from the morgue, sight unseen. And then some pig got himself a new set of wheels in an ugly ass suit. Know that? We're just talking out your ass again. Once you've seen all I've seen, don't need to know things to know them. People are the same everywhere. Okay, it's coming at your ass. And this time, don't go scrolling every ass you see. Eyes on the mayor. Stuff belongs to City Hall. Let's make it PG. Second conference in three days. No idea what this blitz is for. That's why I'm mayor and you're not. Now's when we need the visibility. You're spreading yourself too thin. I'll rest tonight. My room at the Red Queen's race is ready. Yes, of course. Good. Now go. Gotta practice. Red Queen's race? Cause any inner synapse apps? Sure, a bunch of old Brit farts and powdered wigs shouting, Off with their heads! You know, you're allowed to say you don't have a clue. Well, well, well. Hold it! Stop right there! Slow your roll! River Ward, NCPD. Police. Let him in? Port. Gotta speak to the mayor's chief of security. Prem, 
Do it after the conference. Three. Three. Do it after the conference. The tune. Don't recognize it. Tune? What he's humming. Wouldn't call that a tune. He's really into it. Thoughts? Is everything all right? Rather not jump to any conclusions. There's not much to go on. Still too early to say. Sure, sure. Any questions at this point? Red Queen's race. What is it? Got me. Never heard of it. Sorry. Who's Holt? Ryan's deputy. And his bulldog, so to speak. Running in Ryan's place now. Conference. Why was it held? For no particular reason. Ryan liked the sound of his voice and seeing himself on TV. That sort of thing. As far as I recall, the drop in Night City's violent crime rate was the excuse for this one. Ryan came out to tout it. <laughs> Sorry, drop. Ryan reclassified Pacifica an independent district. Stats for that part of town stopped counting. <laughs> Clever. Cop who saved Ryan. Know anything about him? Detective River Ward. Good guy. We worked a few cases together. You want to talk to him? I'll put you in touch. Mayor's Hustle, the NCPD? No. All handpicked by Holt, and on a corpse payroll. But there are ex-cops among them. Anyone else besides Ryan's detail have access to the terminal? Hmm. NCPD. That's it. Sheesh, Ward had great timing. Either has crazy good luck or had a source. Got good info. I'm gonna need some of each. Well said. Sending you his deeds. If you need anything else, let us know. We'll help. Name's V. Looking into the death of one Lucius Ryan. Wonder why? You're not a cop. I'm conducting a private investigation into this matter. Good luck with that. And do me a favor, lose this number. I like PIs about as much as I like the Scop in Caliente. I'm no private eye. So what are you? Meet me. You'll find out. All right. I'm headed to Chubby Buffaloes. Be their stat.
I don't think I know you. I'm Claire. You might not remember me. Bartender at the afterlife? Uh-oh. Forgot to close my tab? Mar has a buzz about you lately. As the Merc who's reliable, gets things done. And since I need help... Okay. Need a driver for street races. Drop by my auto shop, I'll tell you more. Your garage, where is it? In Arroyo, on Valley. Lovely spot, you can't miss it. All right, I'll try not to. If I'm not there when you arrive, just hang. I'll show up after my shift at the after. Okay, see you, Claire. Someone here to see you, looks like. Huh. Wonder what about? You River Ward? In the flesh. V, right? My partner, Detective Hunt. Okay. Thanks for agreeing to me. You really intend to work with a merc? Don't know what I intend just yet. For now, I'm gonna see if I hear anything new about Ryan's death. You back on that? Boss already told you to drop it. I can say it again. You know he hates to say things twice. And if you couldn't give a rat's fat ass about any of that, keep my advice. As your friend, just let the case go. You see me do anything? Just sitting here sipping coffee, listening to gossip. Fine. Do what you want. I'm not gonna part of this. Gotta go get my little girl anyway. And you two at least find a quieter corner. Wouldn't want to be over. Okay. Talk. I see Detective Hans not a fan of edge runners. Don't take it personally. Detective Hans not a fan of anybody, except his daughter. He wanted to talk. Before the attack, he wanted to talk to Ryan's hustle. Get some info to him. What was it? Let me ask you a question first. Why do you got your nose in this? Who hired you? Sorry. Never give up the names of my clients. Well then, I'm sure you've got plenty of other leads besides me. I mean, I sure hope so, because I'm not telling you a thing. And I'm not being mean or nosy, nor is it personal. I'm just covering my own ass. My own safety's at stake, too. So, before I open my mouth, I need to know whose ears are listening. Liz Perales hired me, and her husband, Jefferson. The presumed future mayor. <laughs> Guess I could have seen that coming. You know what? Tom was right. Acoustics are a little too good in here. Got my car outside. Okay, sure. Yo, 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 my tumor shroomers and fiddlers, Mr. Whitey here. Drop that milk toast kibble and rush to the nearest store for a taste of sweet, 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 clean speed. Cause life is too short to be slow. Some of the boys from the precinct saw Horvath around the Royal, shooting up dumpsters, hollering how he's got to meet with the mayor. Brought him in. Brought who in? Peter Horvath. Cyber psycho who attacked the mayor later. They took him downtown, but then he got lost before they could get his statement. So you saw him as a potential threat, decided to warn the mayor. Just like that. Because... Got a good heart? Make it sound like that's something to be ashamed of. Ashamed? Nah. Just not something you see every day. Said he got lost. How's that happen? What's it mean? It means someone didn't want him counting roaches in a cell that day. Before you ask me, no. I got no idea who. My turn. Why is Perales looking at this now? Why does he want it done unofficial? On the hush hush.
As I see it, Perales is out to smear Holt. So he thinks Holt's involved? I know, but even if he's not, the murdered mayor isn't great optics for his deputy. Perales could just be scared. Doesn't want the job of a guy who just got carried out feet first? <laughs> who would? Red Queen's race. Heard anything about it? Know what it is? Maybe I have. Maybe I do. It got anything to do with Ryan? The guy was headed there the day he died. <sighs> Fine. We're gonna see my CI. All I've heard is some fancy-ass club. No idea where to even look for it. CI might know. Then we'll go talk to the woman Horvath worked for. Or actually, we could see her first. Up to you. I'm sorry. We? Can't shake this case. Something's up. Just look how quickly it was closed. This way, you can get your job done, while I find evidence that gets my chief to reopen the case. Win-win. So, we're two first. Let's go see his boss first. The guy who can afford all the chrome he was decked out in should have the scratch for psychomuting meds, too. We better check it out. Okay. Good 90% of any detective's job is talking. And the other 10%, what's it consist of? Writing reports. So, who are we supposed to talk to? CyberPsycho's boss, you said? Christine Markov, 42. File has her as Horvath's sole employer. Sole contact, too, actually. Come on, V. idea who we're looking for. Gonna have to ask around. I'll start from the left and take the right. I'm Christine Markov. No, but I know who she is. Stand with the tech over on the other side. Christine Markov. Christine Markov, we have some questions. You badges? 
Looking for data on Pater Horvath. Worked here, apparently. Yeah, he did. Then he stopped working, started making fucking speeches all the time. Horvath make good scratch here. Could have bought this whole market with the chrome he's back in. <laughs> oh, yeah, made scads on scads here. <laughs> Motherfucking millionaire, like we all are. So where do you get the Eddies? Know anything? Look, if I knew, I wouldn't be here selling scop to tower trash. I'd get myself an AV, fly my fucking slim ass out of here. Peter showed up one day with all that. Extra worked up, too. Whacked enough that I asked him where he got it. He said somebody finally seen what he was worth. And then he launched right into one of his tirades. When the weird behavior actually start? When you're talking about Pedo, weird doesn't mean what it means for everybody else. Horvath never was completely normal. But the post-jail Horvath versus the pre-jail Horvath? Gonks both, but completely different gonks. These, uh, speeches, what did he have to say? Ryan, corpse got him by the balls and cock, but he still managed to fuck me. His motto. Why do you have it in for the mayor? Ha! <laughs> Looking for reason in that whack job? Probably thought Ryan was talking to him through the TV, promising all sorts of shit, then ceasing to give a fuck. Look, I told you what I think. In Horvath's world, everybody was out to get him. Lucius Ryan was out to fuck him, then get him. So as Horvath saw it, who else had it in for him? Besides Ryan? A uh, madam president, mostly. Then Arasaka, the Giza, and when he died, it was a sunstorm. Would that be all, detectives? You spoke in my king on top. Somebody'd finally seen what he was worth. Horvath had sponsors. We might have guessed as much. It might seem like we didn't get a lot out of that. Sometimes intel makes sense once you've got some context. Say, for instance, somebody says they got a headache. Minor detail means nothing, right? Usually, sure. But then the guy waltzes straight into oncoming traffic. A neighbor remembers someone had worked on the air conditioner in the guy's unit. The guy whose head always hurt. Accident? Coincidence? Or maybe air-dispersed poison? A deliberate hit. You actually caught a case like that? No. Made it up. Still proves my point. Oh, great. Let me handle this, me. Step aside, Lug. Your boyfriend got sent up for years. Doubt you want the same. Hey, gentlemen, gentlemen, chill, please. Woda, Koitsa, and Animon, and that. Now, can I go? You should make I know Arizona, Yats, Janeka. Jump, clown. Jump. Let's get this party started. Ha ha ha. streets with you downright unsafe got a beef with all gangs or just the tigers I'm a cop what do you think good thing nobody got killed a little less paperwork I'll talk to my CI about your club Red Queen's race assuming you're still on board you kidding gonna ride with me sure I'll ride with you My guy works here. You go talk to him. I'll wait outside. Tell him Igor says hi. He'll know what it's about. 
He's your CI. He doesn't know me. Well, uh, last we met, it didn't go so well for him. People he ratted out got wind of it. I think you got a better chance of getting him to talk without me. At least voluntarily. Who is this guy? The proud proprietor. He's got all sorts of clients, and he's nosy as hell. So he knows all about everyone. Plus, he's a coward. The perfect combo. All right, wait here then. You looking for a uh, general inspiration or something specific? Because I can help with both. Looking for a club. Ray Queen's race? If I was you, I'd try somewhere a little more welcoming. Lizzie's over in Kabuki is a good start. Or Clouds in Japan Town. Want an address. Look, club's invitation only, right? You don't know the address, it means you're not welcome. Igor says hi. Fuck no. Said I was done. I was out. Leave me the fuck alone, all of you. Hey, Neil. Piss off. Relax. Just got one question to ask you. Nothing to see here, sir. Come on, ghost, I said. Leave me alone, got it? Can't make me do a damn thing. Rest assured, nobody will find out you talk to us. And this will truly be the last time Detective Ward will visit you. Isn't that right, Detective? Right. And I swear it on the spirits of my ancestors. All we want is the courts for Red Queen's race. All right, but this is the last time, for real. It's outside city limits. Near the river. Benita Street area. You been there? Made some deliveries. Goods. Sometimes peeps. I got no idea why you want to go poking around there. The club's empty. They shut it all down. Shut it down? Before or after Mayor Rhine died? Uh, soon after, I guess. Thanks, Neil. My shit luck! Well, well. That's what I call a breakthrough. I'm headed straight for Benita Street. Coming with? Sure, thanks.
Monvi. This is animal turf. I can see that. Lock up any of theirs recently? Not lately, no. But they're not big fans of pigs, either. I can't go in without a warrant. But you... Uh-huh. All right. Be in touch. You find anything, tell me. Fuck off! Nothing to see here. I'm looking for a club. Red Queen's Race. Closed. Not opening anytime soon either. So it's fine if I have a look around inside. No, it ain't. No looking. Just delta the fuck out of here! Got spotted. Okay. Hang on, be right there. I'm getting too old for this.
doesn't tend to lie. Too scared. So, the club's around here somewhere. In the garage, is my guess. Or under it. Cover up whatever it was that went down. What should we be looking for? Try to find something that looks like an office. Every back there no problem you feel okay <laughs> i'll live what was that v 
You asked me. One heart attack that killed Ryan. As I said from the start. But someone spiked his BD. That's what killed him. Fuck. I think you could be right. Come on, V. Looks like an office. Sort of. Comps are what we want. Comps above all. Yep. Stiff as a board. You ask me, he's been dead at least an hour. No. No trauma card. Pretty sure he didn't bring it on purpose. A uh, club like this, you don't want TT banging down the door when you're banging away and things start to heat up. Hard, probably. Must have gotten a little too heavy and messy. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Coroner will find him at home. I'll tell him how to write it up. Died in his sleep, quiet as a baby. Boys are getting him out of here. Of course, nobody will see him. No way. Yep. Yes. All right, I'll buzz you later. Weird. Guy looks familiar, doesn't he? V? I'm not in the mood for jokes. Think we've seen everything we needed to. Let's go. I'm gonna look around some more. Okay. Do what you will. Waste of time as I see it, though. Okay. Let's Delta. Think I saw another way out on the way in. Still hanging around with this punk? Shot it, Harold. I know what you did. Not about to ask why you covered it up. Not even why you jumped into this mess to begin with. Just wanna know. Who gave you the order? What's the matter, River? Why do you even care? Your conscience is clear. You can sleep tight at night. You know why? Because I took all the responsibility. You got no idea how this city works. Think a goddamn inspirational, idealist bullshit actually means something? It doesn't. Never did. Hey, don't look at me that way, Merc. You know I'm right. I know the game NC makes you play. I know the rules. All the tricks in the book. So you ought to know when to get in line. And when you can stick your neck out. Because you stick it out at the wrong time, and there'll always be some shark ready to bite your head off. But there's a line. Not every order is worthy of being followed. Let me tell you when I'll stop doing what I'm told. When I retire. Not a day sooner. Ought to consider doing the same, Ward. V. Appreciate the help. But this isn't your biz. I'll take care of it. How are you gonna do that? Am I under arrest? Got a scroll, got a motive, got your confession. So yeah, you could be. But it wouldn't make much sense. You don't even gotta say who ordered you to go and clean up. I know anyway. So since even our brass's fingers are all over this, I gotta take it to internal. They won't do a thing either. Not to me. They'll put you in their sights though. Just go home, Ward. Get some sleep. Find all this easier to take in in the morning. I mean, that's my plan. Fuck. <sighs> 
So, what now? We'll let this go. Can't. Holt murdered Ryan. Wanted his seat. All this tritest motive in the book. That's why I believe it. Use the NCPD to cover his tracks. Also think it was Holt. Only one who stood to gain. Taking this to internal affairs. Got enough to get this case reopened. Don't do it. They'll sack you. Or worse. Besides, it won't change a thing. Could be right, you and on. But I couldn't give a shit what you two think. And you? Gonna report back to the paralysis? Yep. Okay. I'm gonna stay. Observe a little. Thanks, V. So, about Ryan. Got a pretty good idea what happened. Great. Come by, please. It's a sensitive matter. I'd rather discuss it face to face. We'll be waiting. Thanks. Just gonna tell you one thing. I'm listening. Don't tell him nothing. Don't get involved. This muck is deeper than you think. Suck you in if you're not careful. I'm always careful. Fine, do whatever the fuck you want. Not like you listen anyway. Hello, V. Please, come in. Make yourself at home. Jefferson will join us shortly. Have a seat.
Thank you. Good to see you, V. Elizabeth tells me you have answers for us. I'm all ears. It's not 100% clear what happened. Hardly anything ever is. But? Yeah, I got some idea. Ryan was murdered. At a sex club. Someone gave him a virus spiked BD. You sure? Yeah, same BD almost wiped me. So yeah, I'd say I'm sure. Got any idea who did it? Can't say for sure. But a lot of things point to Weldon Holt. I knew it! You got any proof? I don't. Just, uh, strong suspicions. That's all we need to know, Jeff. We have to be careful. Keep a close eye on Holt, and up our security. You're right, as always. You're right. Thanks for your help, V. Your fee. You two watch out for each other. Hey there. Now, where did we leave off? Turn to this later. 